In neighboring Sudan, as an economic crisis endures, revolutionary volunteers have been deployed at the country's bakeries. The yellow-vested men are helping to crack down on the diversion of heavily subsidized flour to the black market and hope to expand their monitoring activities to flour mills and distribution networks. As bakers in floor-stained clothes knead dough and slide trays of loaves into ovens in Sudan capital, a cluster of yellow-vested volunteers keep watch. The goal of the self-styled guardians is to stem the smuggling of heavily subsidized flour and bread destined for citizens struggling through a long-running economic crisis. Our role as resistance committees deployed at bakeries is about oversight. We're monitoring what enters and leaves the bakery. The flour before it's made into bread, the bread that comes out, who it goes to, at what time and why. Bread was a symbol of the revolution. An attempt to raise bread prices was a trigger for the first major protest in the city of Adbara. For the past two weeks, the volunteers have been entering their data on floor deliveries, bakery closures and smuggling into a mobile app being piloted in Orkowit. The volunteers have already caught wheat or bread being smuggled out of bakeries. In one case, 2,000 loaves for sale at triple the price outside of Khartoum. The culprits got a police warning. The application allows for the resistance committees to log reports on bakeries receiving raw materials, bakeries that are closed, reports on smuggling. All these reports go into one central database from all over Sudan. When the data is made available in one location, the right decisions can then be made to understand the problem. Suggestions that subsidies could be lifted have angered some, but opinions are split. My personal view is if the government removed the subsidy, it will still be better than the old regime coming back, because I am sure that moving forward, it will only get better. Sudan will be better. The volunteers hope to expand their activities to flour mills and distribution networks and that the ARP will help reveal where smuggling and diversion of supplies is occurring. 